Good evening, everyone. My name's Heath Haskins, Code Prime, and tonight we're doing some Lumber Tycoon 2. I'm going to show you how to get to the paint shop, but before we do anything, hit the subscribe button. Hit the notification bell. Do those things, because I'm supposed to call out a, a, at the beginning of the video for some reason. Even, even like, if this is your first video that you've ever seen and you've never seen me before, and this is like the first time you ever see me, <gasps> I'm still, still supposed to tell you subscribe, even if you don't know what the content's about yet. How weird is that? Okay, so the first thing that you need to do is you got to get onto the uh, the boat, and normally it would cost what eight, uh, four hundred. It's going to cost you four hundred money to get onto the boat. Plus, you're going to have to have a base to save your stuff, and you're going to need to have a vehicle. But once we get across there, that's where uh, the the magic happens. That's where I'm going to actually give you the directions and stuff. Oh, we can see inside Hoover's little fort base thingy. Dude, your wheel is, it, there's no texture to it. it. It's just a circle. I don't understand. Is it a button? Do you hit a button and it just goes? I bet that's what it is, isn't it? <laughs> Code, you're so funny. <laughs> and here we can see our characters arrived at the glorious tropics area. What's funny is the tropics without the music doesn't look like tropics. I mean, it's pretty much the, the exact same. It's it's got dirt. It's got, it's got rocks. It's got some sand. I, I guess the sandy beach is is about the only difference. But as far as the trees go and stuff, oh my goodness, it's it's pretty much the same. I mean, we got the grass and we've got the rocks and stuff like that. But the all important thing is this cave over here. So. We're going to go nice and slow. I'm going to show you the exact directions to go. Okay, so just follow along. When you get down to the bottom of the ramp, it's going to split off to the left and to the right. You're going to take the left path. Okay, all of these are just nice natural rock formations. Nothing to be worried about. It's one hallway all the way down until you get to right about here. And this is where it splits off. One to the right, one to the left. You're going to follow it to the left side. Just like this. Now this is like a little chamber room. It's just a, a, a little room. Once you're over here, this is like the main little hallway. If you go to the right, there's a, there's a passage there. And then there's a way back around to the first side and to the other side of the cave. We're worried about this one right here. So this is going to be our first left. 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 And head on straight. Okay. So the next one, we're going to take a left right here. And then we're going to go to the right. And then once that opens up, we're going to take another left. So right there, that's the paint shop. Yay, we found it. Yay. Hello, Timothy. This is Timothy. Ah, a customer. Please. Oh, what did it say? Please browse the collection. You got it, Timothy. Timothy. So, let's see. That one's 16000 Art was always expensive, and I never, never quite understood the meaning behind art. Like, I understand throwing up some posters or something. Ooh, I can buy a boat for 5900 Boats in lumber. Total clickbait right there, see? No, I'm not gonna clickbait that. But, um, right there. That one's, that one's pretty cheap. That's only six. That one's 2006. I wonder if that's because that's when that painting was created was 2006 or something. The pineapple, I think this is the most expensive, isn't it? 24, no, 240,000. 16,800 for the gloomy seascape. Gloomy seascape. I, I don't know that I've got that one. Is that a new painting? Hold up. That's not a new painting, is it? When did that come out? Hold on. I got to do research. Okay. So I think I found it. Um, 
Are we recording? Yeah. Okay. You got the little bar across the top. Uh, the gloomy cityscape is, at dusk is a painting that can be purchased at the fine art shop in the maze for 16,800 money. And uh, it was one of three paintings that was released in September 26, 2018. The others being the pineapple and the Arctic light as part of the 2018 Halloween event, but was left in game when the event concluded. Uh, this item was suggested in a pack made by multiple wiki users, Jack16King, Unicorn, Unicorns, and Transparency, and Fallon. Uh, the frame was actually sculpted by Transparency Design. The painting is larger than the Arctic uh, Light, but smaller than the title unknown. It features a cloudy sky with small trees and a sea, almost in nor gradient and a nor gradient. I don't know what that means. Its box is plain white in, in color, and its frame is a dark gray. No other painting of as of now has the same frame as it sport, but now has the same frame as it sport. No other, what? So the description says by Henry G. Keller, watercolor. But I thought, water, isn't this watercolor? Bill Palm. This, I just thought, hmm. Why hasn't Defaultio put in like a, a posters shop for you guys to like put up posters? Not like, famous art paintings or anything, but like little posters that you can put around your shop or around your uh, your base. I think that would be a brilliant idea. As much as I'd like to spend money and purchase a, um, a uh, painting, I don't think I will. I think today we're going to leave the paintings on the walls for everyone to enjoy. And I shall go elsewhere. Is that a face? Is there, is there a face right there? See where I'm pointing? Like a little smiley face? <gasps> That's a scary goose. Anyhow, there's something about this painting as well. Hold on. If I remember, there is a secret. Hmm. Disturbed painting. Why is it disturbed? I don't see anything disturbing about this painting. Maybe it's just disturbed. It's a disturbed painting itself. Anyhow, that's pretty much the, the video for today. I mean, that's that's why I wanted to do is show you where this, this stuff was. Um, are these on, hold on, hold on. Can I, can I jump on that? Whoa, what? <laughs> Skills. Okay. I wasn't sure if those were actually hanging or if they were uh, models. They're models. They're not suspended by ropes or constraints or anything like that. Okay, so... Um, well... It's left, 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 right, left, right. So we have to go left, right, left, right, right, right. So... Left... Technically right, left, and then we go right, and another right, and technically it's not a right, it's just out the door. But that is how to get to the paint shop. So to the person that suggested me uh, making a video on how to get to the paint shop, there you go. Um, I'm also going to do it again at nighttime, so you can see how to get down there. Um, for the most part, yes, the cave is is very confusing if you don't know the patterns if you don't know the the map the layout and stuff like that so if you just keep driving down through there and getting lost and, and like trying your best to find your way around you'll get to it so here we go this first part all the way down is not really anything you can do until you get to the uh the first little opening right here and this is where it splits off right left you're gonna go to the left. Follow it through this first room. You're gonna go left, left, left. There's left, left, go straight, 
Here's where it splits off. You're going to go to the left. Now, you're going to go right. And then a left. So right here where it splits, go left. Bam. You're back to the paint shop. And once, once you're here, like, if you drive this a few times, you'll get used to it. And it'll it'll become second nature to drive down here. So if there's anybody inside the, the server who's looking for paintings or something like that, you can absolutely come down here and, and just grab a bunch of paintings. Or if they'll pay you to come and grab it, you'll be like, yeah, I know how to get to the paint shop. That's cool. In fact, we could probably just speed run that real quick. But that's the paint shop. And the paint shop is a great way to like add decorations and stuff to your home and to, to your base. Um, they, there's also, I will shout out Bunny Films for creating a uh, computer screen with the back of Mamazine's painting. So uh, if you know who Mamazine is, um, she does, I think she does Saber and um, Bee Swarm Simulator and stuff like that. Another great YouTuber. Um, but yeah, go subscribe to them. Go check them out. Anyhow, that's it. That's that's it for today. That's that's the video. That's the Friday news. Wait, isn't it's not news. It's a it's more like a tutorial. <gasps> Did I just do an actual tutorial after all this time of of not doing tutorials? Oh my goodness. For that, I've got to get a subscribe. You got to hit that subscribe button. That's that's a subscribe worthy thing to do right there. Thank you everyone for watching this episode of Lumber Tycoon 2 with me, Heath Haskins, Code Primate. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe down below, do all those cool things I'm supposed to call out at the end of the videos, like a good YouTuber does. It's your choice. If you want to subscribe, go for it. If not, that's cool too. You were here, you watched, you had fun. Love you guys for that. Have a great weekend. We'll talk to you soon. Oh, don't forget, uh, karaoke is tonight, and um, we have family movie night tomorrow night, and then we have um, Fortnite custom matches. Uh, maybe. I'm, I'm no guarantee on the Fortnite. Love you guys. <sighs> Outro. Want some new merch? Check out teespring.com. Outro.